Hey folks, welcome back to the channel, and this is One Messed Up Shark. <sighs> Apparently it's a shark. Today, as we <clears throat> begin to build toward, uh, I, you know, the Wave 3 of the Titan Return figures, and I gotta say, I am excited for an update to this guy. We take uh, a quick little pause here now. We take a, a little bit of a break. We've been looking at, uh, you know, some of the, uh, I'll call it the Forgotten Faction. And uh, if you've seen any of my recent videos, you know what I'm talking about. And we're going to look at this guy today. It is the Transformers Vintage G1 Nah. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Dennis Moulton, aka GotBot. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Check out Machinery Man, The Everything Factor. Uh, have a look around the channel. Uh, see, uh, you know, see what catches your interest. And we're going to look at this guy, Paint Apps, right away. Well, of course, a lot of the paint has worn off of mine ever so many years later, especially here on the teeth. Uh, there was a lot of chrome. What can I say? This guy was well well played with, uh, well used in my youth. I loved him. Um, I always found him solid. In terms of animation accuracy, he's pretty close. I would say that he's about he's about a nine. He's about a nine, eight and a half, nine. Uh, he's pretty close. Um, not quite as detailed in certain areas. A little more detailed than others, but of course, being a G1, a lot of times this guy's the basis for everything to follow, so on that merit alone, you tend to give the guy a 10 for that. We're going to jump into transformation for this guy. By the way, if you're curious how he compares with, you know, uh, a more modern type of beast-oriented figure, you know, here he is with the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters uh, vertebrae. You know, to give you an idea there of how big of a beast this guy was. Uh, so taking him back out of it, <clears throat> we will, I guess, talk about the articulation here. The legs can move, uh, the jaw can open and close, and the arms can move. Now, my arms were actually off. I, I guess you could call this guy the first mod that I ever did because I, I put his arms back on. They don't quite go into his body as they should anymore. And I no longer have his tail wherever that's gone. Lost in time like so many other things. But it's stuck into a port here on the hind section and it was kind of like a bluish color mace, a teal color mace. But he had decent articulation, uh, you know, considering he was a shark, to be perfectly honest with you. I always sort of dug it. Um, in robot mode, the legs don't really do much. The arms could move around, but we'll see all that in a minute. Uh, transformation, we'll do that next with this guy. Uh, pretty simple. You pull back the head and you pull down the jaw. That reveals the head of the shark. You open up these arms and you can... Angle them down if you want. You open up this one and angle it down like that if you are so inclined. And you can see uh, that I used, I guess they were hooks uh, that I put in here to try and mimic um, the pins, screws, whatever that were in there. But hey, it works. Pull down his legs, flip up the toes, and you can stand him up, pull up his arm, it's a slider here on the side, you just pull the arm up on the slider, you rotate the fists and push in the little blue tabs that make up part of his shark, shark feet, shark feet. Um, Sure that his legs are all the way down and there's a little tab underneath right here you just pull that little tab out and pull that little tab 
out. I've heard of those tabs breaking on some people's. I've heard of a KO where those are brutally hard. Um, how does he stand up? Not great. Uh, he's he's pretty he's pretty heavy. He doesn't. I, I never found he stood up great. The legs. They don't move forward and back or to the side. They don't really do anything. The toes move. The arms, they can move all the way around. No elbow. There's a swivel. Uh, the head does not move. This guy has highly limited articulation. Today, he'd probably be a two. Even for the time, he was kind of a brick in robot mode. And I would have to give him, even for those days, uh, about a seven. Um, well, yeah, about a seven, because he couldn't really do much, but he was so solid, and that alone made him fun, and he was, you know, he's about a deluxe-ish size by modern standards, and I, I, I always, I, I guess I always just enjoyed him for what he was. The transformation is quick, simple, and easy. A couple of things to watch out for, especially if you ended up with the KO version. Like I said, the, the little tabs there for his fists. Uh, tend to sometimes be an issue, and some people have had issue with um, with uh, I think the head opening up, if I'm not mistaken. So overall, I'm going to give his transformation about an eight. He was not stellar, uh, but they were great for troop building. Uh, they were a burly size and always imposing, and just because the arms could move, hey, you could have hours of fun with them. Overall. I'm going to give this nah, the one that was the basis for everything to come later, I'm going to give him a score of about an 8. He was a, a good figure for the time and despite his imperfections, I always had an absolute blast with this guy. And if he's in your collection, hopefully you enjoy him too. If he's not, well, who knows, maybe one day he will be. Anyway folks, that is it. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for having a little bit of a visit here with me. Uh, stick around, check things out here for yourself. And as always, I look forward to the next time that you and I get together for another visit right here inside the videos.